There's no horseplay by the beakers, no food close to the fumes. Don't taste or touch or smell the various chemicals in the room. This is history in the making. Lab grows so assiduous. We're working hard, taking notes, and remaining very studious. If you follow all these rules and give the scientists their space, you will see all the incredible bioscience taking place. Over there's the cryostat microtome, and that's where the autoclave is. That's where we clean petri dishes as we study parthenogenesis. There are incubators, centrifuges, homogenizers to see spectrometers, laminar hoods, and other scientific hooey. Gabby's using microscopes to find the tiny cells. Julie's using pipettes to transfer them to the gels. Together they are separating genomes and the like to put a haploid cell into an egg to produce the little tyke. Improving the world one cell at a time. Observing genomes closely to see what we can find. History in the making. Right here is where it's at. We're doing righteous work. I have to believe that. Don't be shy, I won't lie, there's been a lot of outcry. But if it's all done right, we will change lives, I see it in my third eye. What all the boys don't see quite is what we're doing here is so right. Giving life a chance to thrive amidst a world of despite. I can sense your unease, but it'll all turn out fine. Equipment's top of the line, elaborate and refined. Keeping lab coats white and goggles fastened maybe too tight. We're professionals here, not a stray sandal in sight. This is where it all happens, right here in the laboratory. History in the making, we're authors writing the world's story. Here's the sensational piece, isn't it just so neat? The greatest advancements in its vaccines, just by altering a few stray genes. Of all the world's greatest minds, it's incredible how one single cell can turn the tide.